occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. in zero seconds! Ah, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Doc, you disintegrated Einstein. Calm down, Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Then where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! <laughs> What? Is it hot? It's cold! Damn cold! <laughs> Einstein, you little devil! Einstein's clock is exactly one minute behind mine! It's still ticking! He's all right. He's fine! And he's completely unaware that anything happened. As far as he's concerned, the trip was instantaneous. That's why his watch is exactly one minute behind mine! He skipped over that minute to instantly arrive at this moment in time. Come on, I'll show you how it works. First, we turn the time circuits on. This readout tells you where you're going, this one tells you where you are, this one tells you where you were. You want to put your destination time in this keypad. Say you want to see the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Birth of Christ. Here's a red letter date in the history of science. November 5th, 1955. Yes, of course. November 5th, 1955. Why, I don't care what happened. <laughs> that was the day I invented time travel. I remember it vividly. I was standing on the edge of my toilet, hanging a clock. The porcelain was wet. I slipped, hit my head on the edge of the sink. And when I came to, I had a revelation, a vision. A picture in my head, a picture of this. This is what makes time travel possible. The flux capacitor. The flux capacitor? It's taken me almost 30 years of my entire family fortune to realize the vision of that day. My God, has it been that long? Things have certainly changed around here. I remember when this was all farmland, as far as the eye could see. Old man Peabody owned all this. He had this crazy idea about breeding pine trees. <laughs> 